Drought could sideline home games at Lano High School. One of the main water wells they use to irrigate the football field there has run dry. And as Jacqueline and Glaze found out, without the Friday night lights, Lano's economy could take a hit. On Friday nights during the fall, the Lano High School Yellow Jackets football field is the place to be. When the lights are on, it's the only show in town. It's what Friday Night Lights is all about. Lano ISD has two water wells on its property to help irrigate athletic fields. Last Monday, this one, which was pumping out 60 gallons of water per minute, dried up. Only this well is left, and it's producing 20 gallons of water per minute. Lose that, and within 7 to 10 days, the field will go brown, the dirt will harden, and it will not be a safe surface for the team to play on. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it, and, uh, but you know, it's, if we had to move all of our games on the road, then we'd, we'd, uh, we'd handle that. The city is already under stage four water restrictions and likely could not help out. The field is still being watered once a day, but yellow and brown patches aren't backing down. It's a delicate balancing act between how much water can we can, can we put on the field uh, to do the maximum amount of good without using any more than we need to use? Business owners are keeping a watchful eye because losing home games means losing money. It is a big boon to the economy on Friday nights. Yeah, it really is. The teams come in, uh, parents come in. Fuel Coffee House would have to reschedule fifth quarter Fridays. That's where people who miss the game can come in and watch a taped version. I don't want to lose the football games, honestly, no. Even players know there's something to home field advantage. When you're home, it's like you've got a lot more people backing you up because they don't have to drive as far. Players did scrimmage on the field last week. As of now, their first home game has not been sidelined. In Lano, Jacqueline Inglace, KXAN News.